Producer Bob Ezrin walked into the studio and hit a wall of resistance. I turned to Mike Bruce and I said, you know, I think that the guitar riff here should be, you know, this here. And, and Mike looked at me and said, uh, no, we, we, we worked this out. We like it like this. And I thought, something's going on here. We wanted to reinvent Alice Cooper group as something that could do an album, perhaps, that wasn't tethered to a major theatrical production. I just wasn't ready for the conflict. I wasn't ready to fight. So I resigned. Holy muscle, of love. muscle of Love came out in the winter of 73, their seventh record in four years. And though it hit number 10 on the album charts, it was considered only a modest success. The band was exhausted, and they needed a break from the monster called Alice. As his popularity grew and grew, that, that created a sort of a chasm between the band. Members of the band really felt that they were being sort of subsumed by Alice's success and my power and Shep's power, and, and they needed to flex their muscles. Maybe it was the right time for everybody to go do their own projects. But I wasn't going to give up the theatrics. Mike Bruce and Neil Smith recorded solo albums. Neither album caused much excitement. They were, however, the final nails in the Alice Cooper group's coffin. We had climbed. We were just about ready to take over the universe. We were right at the edge of taking over the universe. How high it could have gone, I don't know. 